This video is going to cover off over the next few minutes the multitude of file management capabilities that you have within SoftPlan. Beginning with the start page, simply right click on any given project. Here it can be seen that a project can be pinned, removed, opened, or simply removed from the recently opened list. Over the course of the next few minutes we'll cover off each one of these options. The first option is how to pin a project to the top of the recently opened projects list. To begin, simply right click on the project. Select Pin Project. As can be seen, the project is now pinned to the top of the recently opened SoftPlan projects list. As can be seen, multiple projects can be pinned for easier access from the SoftPlan projects list. Likewise, a project can be unpinned by simply right-clicking and selecting the Unpin Project option. A project can also be removed from the recently opened list without deleting it. Simply right-click on the project and select the Remove from Recently Opened List. Focus will now shift on how to recover both a drawing as well as a project from the recovery list. It is important to note that you are responsible for saving your work. Whether Control S, the icon, or File Save is used, a copy or duplicate of your project is being stored inside the actual recovery folder within SoftPlan. This next lesson is going to cover how to access those saved recovered files within SoftPlan. To set up a control environment visually, what we will do is simply block cut out a portion of the drawing on the left hand side and then save it. Now assuming you would like to access the drawing pre-block cut, we would go to File, Recover. Here it can be seen we can recover not only a drawing, but the project or the project configuration or even the revisions for this project. For this example, select Drawing. From the Drawing Recovery list, scroll through the recently created recovery drawings and select the time frame from which you would like to recover the selected drawing from. It's just that simple. The recovered drawing is now brought back into the project folder for use. Next, we will turn our focus to recovering an entire project within SoftPlan. From the File menu, select Recover, and this time select Recover Project. Upon clicking Project, we will see the number of recovery files that have been created over the past two months for this project. In this case, recover the selected project date from 41 minutes ago. Upon selecting File and Open, navigate back to where the original project is being saved, and there the Recovery Project folder will be listed with the date in which it was saved out of the Recovery folder automatically for you. The next process we're going to cover off is how to send a project in all of the properties that go with it into a compressed folder. From the File menu, select Send To. From there, select Compress Zipped Folder. Here, a file name could be input. In this case, we'll accept the default and select OK to save the zip file. This file, in turn, could now be copied to a thumb drive or emailed with all of the properties associated with the project. With the zip file created, simply attach the file to the email. A quick check of the zip file will show all of the drawing files as well as support files which have now been zipped for transport with the email. It's just that simple. From managing your files, whether you're pinning them or what you're choosing to see on the title page of SoftPlan, or whether you need to recover a file, SoftPlan has put the tools in place to help you manage your work.